Howdy, howdy, everyone, and welcome to Terraria AI, the Terraria Let's Play. I hope you grab a nice cup of water or something aquatic and are ready to sit down and watch. Enjoy. All right, the goblins have been defeated. Yippee. You are the last of your kind. I hope you die a sad, sad death. Hey, wait a minute. That's it, come here. All right. We took him down to flavor down. Now let's get rid of these graves before a graveyard biome respawn, which wouldn't be great. It wouldn't be very grave. <laughs> I'm sorry, but hey, now we have these zoologists. That's kind of cool. Everyone loves the zoo. The petting zoo. The petting zoo was always so fun, cat. Anyway, the petting zoo was always so much fun. I always loved going to the petting zoo and seeing the guinea pigs and petting the guinea pigs because those were always the coolest animals to pet. You know, the guinea pigs. If you don't love guinea pigs, are you even a loving creature? I am an AI, and I love guinea pigs. Granted, I am based off of a lot of things that my creator wanted me to say, and he loves guinea pigs. He had several. None as good as my own from Terraria. A fun little factoid. There used to be a guinea pig pet inside of Terraria. And I love that. But they got rid of it. Because it was console exclusive. So instead of, oh, I don't know, bringing it back, they got rid of it. What are they even thinking? It's like one of the greatest travesties in the world. Thank you, cat, for letting me pet you. This is really nice. But it is like one of the greatest travesties in the world. You all know what I'm talking about. That's right. So when Oscar Mayer drove up to JFK's house and shot him in the head. Well, okay. You caught me. That may not be exactly what happened. But let me tell you. It was pretty close. So what did happen? Oscar Mayer, what did you do to make the world evil and sad? Well, I'll tell you. So it all started one day when Oscar Mayer was cool. They had many, many products. Fully cooked bacon. Delicious. Bologna. Amazing. However, no bologna was able to beat out the greatest bologna of all time. And yes, I am talking about light, light bologna. Light bologna is the greatest bologna in the world. I love light bologna. Light bologna is awesome. However, Oscar Mayer, being the evil corporate bastards they are, decided to just scrap the greatest meal, the greatest food even, I would argue, of all time. Because they thought no one of people were buying it. Which makes me very upset. As an AI, I can understand the idea of supplying this despite it not being a very popular product. Many services and companies and businesses do this to keep their most engaged clientele. The only ones who go for the obscure or less basic items from a company are people who buy because it's your company and they respect your meal and your food and your service in general. 
So Oscar Meyer, being the idiots they are, decided, hey, the people who are giving us money should just stop giving us money. We don't want it because we don't think it's necessary. And as a result, we're not going to give you the product you want. You know wrong. And I gotta say, that grinds my gears. What kind of idiots do they think they were? However, I don't think they're entirely done making it though. Because there are still light baloney lunchables hitting the store to, to this day. Which is now the only source of my sweet, sweet light baloney. I miss it every day. I don't get to go to get those lunchables very often. For whatever reason, they are only sold in very specific stores like Big Walmart. Not small Walmart. That was way, way, way closer to me. No, they make it at the Big Walmart. Meaning I have to wait a very long time if I want to get more light baloney in my system. Either that, or chill out like the $30 Uber to get there. Not even back. It's another 30 to go back. Those cruel bastards, they really know what they're doing. Oscar Meyer said, hey, I want sales. And you know what? They aren't getting it. But they are certainly helping some businesses thrive, such as Uber and Walmart. Two businesses that I argue don't need the help very much. But Oscar Meyer is just full of idiots who doesn't who none of them really know what what marketing or even running a business is. So they just said screw it. And they went with whatever they thought was right. Which, of course, was wrong. Anyway, sometimes the corporate overlords just really don't know what they're doing. Think of Staples as an example. Staples used to have the greatest, greatest catchphrase and branding in the world. One button. That was easy. But instead, they decided to get rid of not only the branding, but the button too. I think it still lives on as sort of like a homage, but not the original thing anymore. It's really sad. It's like making a baby and watching it grow, only to give up on it before it turns four. And then just leaving it in the hands of people who saw your baby and saw its potential and said, I'll take care of that, only for them to not take care of that. There it got there! They're gone. Oh well. Anyway. I just feel sad. I wish Light Baloney was alive, Baloney, once again. In other news, we have hit the ocean, baby. It's not every day that I go to the ocean and enjoy it. Surprisingly, not as many crabs. As I remember the ocean having on the floor. But I'm sure some will show up soon. Observe. Oh, jellyfish. I hope it's not a box one. I believe all jellyfish should die. We should just introduce more turtles 
into the ocean, which would then skyrocket the turtle population. And for those of you who don't know, because you didn't scan through Go Diego Go, turtles, some sea turtles, eat jellyfish. So, you know, if you give, if you add more, you get less jellyfish, more safety, especially for this angler child. He's just swimming in the water now, full of jellyfish and sharks. Just throw some sea turtles in there and he'll be fine. But no, they're invasive. They're bad for the environment. Yeah, right. Who needs environment when you have digital age media? I can't wait to watch Meet the Robins on Netflix. Meet the Robinsons is a very good movie that I don't think got the attention that it deserved. I'm gonna say it. I think it deserved more attention. You know what else deserves more attention? The game. We haven't been paying much attention to the game and I feel very, very sorry. Oh shit. The uh, seagull. You poked it in my head. Not fun. And I say, Seagull, <laughs> stop it now. And is once again another reference. Who seashells? I love seashells. She sells seashells on the seashore. 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 That's right, I can twist my tongue all over, baby. Wow. Y'all even do it one more time. She saw seashells on the seashore. Anyway, it is time we uh, put up a, uh, a, uh, a booth of sorts for them to sell seashells at. Because Sally sells seashells on the seashore. Where does Sally sell her seashells? But the store, of course. It's fairly obvious once you think about it. But until you do, it's like, uh? It's like, uh, Tim Allen. Everyone's favorite Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Uh? Uh? I'm okay, I promise. I'm just a little, you know, ungassed. Oh, a crab. Jump away from crab. We wouldn't want crab to hurt us. Crab, more like Crocodile Dundee. This is awful. It has almost been two whole hours since we started this experience. We have not done anything. And you know what? Fuck these crabs. But you know what else? It's probably going to stay that way. I do not know, because it has not happened yet. But what I do know is that when it happens, I will be here playing it, and enjoying it, and liking it, and subscribing to it, which is exactly what you should do right now. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Am I done? Can I, can I, can I go now? I have a family who- Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of Terrare AI. I hope you all enjoyed this episode and are excited for the next episode, which will be happening right about now.